What is up everyone, it's Fusion Beats here, and in this one I'm going to be reviewing the latest tour pass, which is season 40, I can't believe we're actually here, it's another milestone in the 10s, and it really didn't actually feel that long since season 20, which was centre stage. So, um, I've just bought the pass, and let's have a look at the cosmetics first um, before we start playing the songs. This video will be structured just like the previous review video. So, um... First off, we have um, this emote here with like this firework, which looks pretty cool. Um, then we have electric lightning symbols. Looks clean, but yeah, again, it's a simple one. Probably won't use it. This one looks pretty cool. You have some lines, sort of like party vibes going on there. You have this one, which is pretty cool, with the swipe tile in the middle of this sort of like neon circle arch. And then you have a tier 30 banner, which you've got another Neon Light um, one. This could honestly fit the Neon Light season a bit better than this one, but you have uh, Flamingo Neon Light, which just makes sense for the summer theme, actually. So, um, I'll see you when we unlock our first normal out of um, these ones here. So to start off with, I have three normals to play in a row here. I have... Um, Flowers, Smooth, and Summer of 69. So, starting off with Flowers. This is the old popular song of the season, like modern hit. Although, to be honest, I think it was quite overplayed. And I think a lot of the Beatstar community agree here. It's an okay song, it's just... It was overplayed a lot, and... Yeah, it's just a bit average, if I'm being honest, for me. I much prefer Party in the USA. But it beats Malibu by miles, anyway. I think this is going to be a basic normal chart. Although, who knows, something could surprise me. Still not fully charted. There's a few doubles at the end there, but that was it really. That was a basic normal. It's solid. There was a tiny bit of drift in the second verse, but yeah, that's a very easy one to DP. Swiftly moving on from that, um, because that was a boring start to the video, if I'm being honest. We now have um, Smooth by Santana. This one, I. I do quite like it, it's got kind of like a Samba vibe to it, although it's quite slow. So I imagine it's going to be quite an easy normal again. Although I'm very much looking forward to the next one, which is an iconic um, rock banger. But anyway, we've got this up first.
Like how that swipes was charted there. Swipes always work well for a guitar solo, even if it's a slow one. Okay, I did not see those. Um, oh, the guitar solo is keeping going. <laughs> I did not see those. I think they were either twelfths or. 24th, I don't even know exactly, but I did not see them coming at all. That potentially could have been the most difficult normal of a season. It depends on what some of 69 and Blackout were like, but... Yeah, that was a bit awkward there. I'll fix that score later on, because I can just play these other two songs right now. So, um, now we have Sum of 69, and it's the classic version, which I don't know exactly what that is compared to the original, although they sound similar, so regardless, it's fine. Yeah, this is just an iconic classic song, and um, it, was in, it was really just fate that this song would end up in the game. I mean, it's a classic, really, um, and it's definitely my favourite Brian Adams song. I mean, it's the only one I know, but yeah. Let's play this. Oh, I'm messing up on these normals this season. Did I get hold ticked? No. Oh, I forgot about perfect in stage two. <laughs> I thought I'd decide to have a second again. Anyway. Yeah, that was a basic chart. I liked how that like, synth was charted right at the end there though. I mean it got the chart it deserved for a standard normal really. It was very solid. You know, it's better than the chart for flowers anyway. Not drifty at all, just a solid one and an easy one to DP. Anyway, I'll fix up these two scores right now. There we go, DP number one. And that's DP number two. So for those two songs, I'm going to post a separate DP, DP video because obviously I didn't get the DP side read. 
and I won't show the full footage in this video. The last normal unlocked and actually the last um, song of the season for me because I've just got to tier 30 actually. Um, so this is actually my tier 30 box song. It's Blackout by Call Me um, Armor. I think it's Armor. I think it's going to be out with Ammo, I'm not too sure about the artist's name to be honest. But, yeah, the song actually sounds pretty good if I'm being honest. And I'm very glad it's not Blackout by certain other artists as, if you don't know, Blackout by Linkin Park is my least favourite Linkin Park song. I just hate what they did with the screamy lyrics, mixing it all up and, yeah, just just isn't a good song in my opinion. But, this one actually does sound pretty good. I would have to watch an ad to play it, but I'll see you after I've finished the ad. By the way, I actually also um, turned off Rock Track Skins for this video on purpose because I heard that this song has got a really unique um, colour shade. Like, it's almost multicoloured, although you don't see it from the menu, it's just actually in the gameplay, it's like um, got this like reddish, pinkish almost type colour going into almost like a purple at the bottom, I heard. I heard it's really beautiful, so let's see. Almost like a track skin. Yeah, that's nice. That colour scheme is really nice. Possibly um, one of the best colour shades for a song we've seen ever. It's a shame most people won't see it because of track skins. I don't get a whole take because of that. Those doubles are charted perfectly. I actually did get a hold six at that one point, which is unfortunate. Oh, I thought that could happen. Which means I actually only done perfect site with one normal with season, which is unfortunate. I'll fix this call up um, another time. You probably don't even need the same EDP as one right now. But yet yeah, again, I will do a separate EP video with this. Now, moving on to the hard songs of the season. So I actually just unlocked... Um, Two of the hearts of the season um, actually is my very first two songs of the season. Of course, these won't actually be positioned at the start of the video, but I can play them both now. So, first off, we have How We Win by, um, I think it's meant to be like Flower, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce this artist's name. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool because I believe this is another Monster Cat song, so I'm glad we're getting more songs from the label in the game because we had Rainbow Wave Parade last season and two. And then we also have uh, Murder on the Dance Floor, which of course is an iconic classic. But first, let's play this one. And I believe it will actually make quite a fun hard chart from the sounds of the song. Some pretty fun swipes already. This is going to get a very fun deluxe, I think. Because the deluxe is an extreme. 
Oh, a funny toss at a wedding. Oh, this song's a banger. This chart's awesome. Oh. Oh my gosh, I did not expect to actually go and put a fake side read that one. Well, those bike quiz holes really caught me off guard and then made those six teams at the end. Well, that was a challenging hard chart, especially for the standard hard. Well, I'm glad this one got a deluxe extreme. I reckon that'll be really fun if that runs like that. I'll actually probably be returning to this chart soon as well, to be honest. It's, I'll use it in the grind for the season. But next up, we have um, the iconic classic of the season. Well, there's actually a few of them, I think, this time. But um, we have Murder on the Dance Floor, which is just a great song. I mean, I don't really think there's anyone in the Beatstar community who doesn't know it already. Um, I'll just start knocking this case. And I'm glad it's a hard, because I honestly thought at first this one would be... Like, when I saw this was in the season, like reading it, I thought it'd be normal. But yeah, we got this as a hard, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I reckon it'll be charted to the vocals a lot, but let's see how it is anyway. It probably won't be as sane as, as insane as that last one. Oh. <laughs> that was a bit unfortunate. Did not expect the cut to start there. Is that overcharted? I think that might have been a bit overcharted. I guess it does say better, but you can only really hear bear. It does make sense still, regardless. I like those patterns. Oh, this is fun. I like how this solo is charted. Well, both perfects in the intro were a little bit unfortunate, but that could have been a sight read very easily. Regardless, though, that one was actually more fun than I expected it to be. Definitely like a, um, at least an S minus tier chart, and of course an S tier song, I mean. Yeah, you can't really get much more iconic than um, these party songs that they've been adding recently. But yeah. 
I have another two hard songs to play now. So, first off, we have Karma by Never Back Down. It sort of does remind me of Nick A. Fursey's slogan, if I'm being honest. And I can't particularly get it out of my head. Although, anyway, this is another metal song. I mean, it is quite unique in Beat Star. Although, metal really isn't my genre, to be honest. Like, I just don't particularly get why people like screaming lyrics, but let's see what the chart's like regardless. The song does sound better than, like, Heavy Shadows, in my opinion. I'm surprised this is a deluxe hard if I'm being honest. It must be a tough deluxe hard, if it is charted fully, from those drum rolls I'd heard there. Pretty fun ending there with a few of the drum rolls being fully charted. Not an amazingly special chart. Does remind me of quite a few other charts in the game. But still pretty fun regardless. There's that one part there where it has like a few of them in a row with some swipes which was nice. Very satisfying patterns but... Yeah it wasn't as good as for other hards that I've played so far. And now for the second one of these songs that I just unlocked, Safari Song by Greta Van Fleet. This song has grown on me already to be honest from the first time I heard it. An unfamiliar artist to me too surprisingly since I heard that they're pretty popular from the community so far. I mean, it's not particularly my kind of rock music, like it, the vocals are like all high pitched and everything, it's... Yeah, it's okay. I like the chord of progression now. Very basic intro. I'm glad that um, drum part there was fully charted.
Oh, nice silo. Really hope I didn't hold it, me. Oh, it doesn't matter now anyway. Well, that silo at the end really did take me off guard there. Although that was very fun. I didn't expect um, that ending to be so fun to be honest, but... Yeah, that solo really changed up the vibe of the charts, and I thought it was going to be a basic normal, just with verses and co two choruses, but... Yeah, that was fire. That ending was really great. Although, let's fix up that score now. And now we've got the DP. Yeah, that is a great chart. I honestly did not expect that from the song, and I'm very glad it got chart like that. Anyway, on to the next one. So, the extreme of the season this time is our first non-EDM extreme in what feels like ages, to be honest. I think our last um, non-EDM extreme was Estilo Cacino. Um, which was not a great one, so hopefully this one will be a bit better. I think a lot of us were hoping for a rock extreme this season though, which is a bit disappointing from the theme of Electric Summer. You would have thought we'd get a rock extreme, but we got this and yeah, let's see what the chart's like. This is pretty basic. Yeah, that was a very basic chart. I think it will probably be forgotten quite quickly, to be honest. While I do think that one was better than um, Estilo Cacino, it wasn't as good as Izzy Rollin, um, or Give Me Some More, which were the previous EDM um, hip hop extremes. Sorry about that, I'm so used to saying EDM extremes by now. Um, they do need to diverse genres, even if I'm not a massive fan of it, for the player base in general, they do need to diverse from EDM, because if you don't know, I'm a massive fan of EDM Extremes because of how well synced they are. I mean, there were some nice swipes in there at some point. Um, but yeah, it's still a basic chart and a pretty easy one to DP sight read, if I'm being honest. Anyway, um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.